Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Hind. You can get the blueprint for the Hind from the market, and it's actually relatively cheap. It's 25,000 credits, 6 Nero, 700 circuits, 1,000 salvage, and 1,200 rubido. The Hind is a primary burst rifle that doesn't actually have a mastery rank requirement, and it does primarily slash damage. Now, the weapon comes with very low crit chance of only 7%, a terrible crit multiplier of 1.5, though the status chance is fairly solid at 15%. The fire rate is also fairly low for a burst rifle at 6.25, and it has a 65 round magazine with a 2 second reload. However, this weapon fires 5 rounds per burst, so keep that in mind when it comes to the damage and the magazine size. Now, the Hind also has a somewhat of a unique mechanic where if you press the secondary fire button, you fire a single shot that does a little bit more damage and has slightly better crit. One thing I'm gonna say right off the bat is you want to put on some fire rate, because a 5 round burst with that low of a fire rate does not feel great. So if you're gonna use this weapon, I would recommend you at least put on speed trigger, though Val Acceleration feels feels even better. And as far as the single shot is concerned, it is a little bit better when it comes to crit, but it's still only at 15%, so I don't think it's necessarily worth modding for. Now, since you can get the Hind very early on, let's check out the basic build first, which is basically just gonna be this. You want some damage with serration, a bit of multi-shot with split chamber, then the most important bit, which is of course speed trigger for that fire rate, and we're gonna top it all off with two elemental mods. This actually isn't terrible, it feels pretty nice on the star chart, it's of course not gonna get you into sorties or anything like that, but since you're firing a 5 round burst, the damage is actually fairly solid. It could of course be a lot better if you use a more advanced setup, kind of like this. This is the one that I personally like the most, but if you want to, you can actually go for raw damage as well on this. I prefer this one because it just scales it a bit better, so we're running serration and split chamber for damage and multi shot, rifle aptitude for a ton of status, fanged fusillade to boost the slice so that it procs more often, and then we have vital and heat with vile acceleration. This actually feels pretty good up to level, I just say 40, I wouldn't really go much past that because you start running into issues with Eximus mobs. But honestly, for a weapon that does not have a mastery rank and it's not terribly expensive, this is actually not too bad. It's kind of impressive. It's of course not amazing, right? It's not even gonna finish the entire star chart if you include things like Zariman, but this is definitely not a terrible weapon to pick up if you're a newer player. It's basically like a more expensive but stronger version of the Burston, so if you've picked up the MK1 Burston and you enjoyed it, or you maybe even picked up the standard Burston and you've enjoyed it, this would not be the worst weapon to progress into as you're making your way through the star chart. Don't get me wrong though, this is absolutely 100% a new player weapon. There is no reason to pick this up if you're over mastery rank, I don't know, 3, 4, maybe 5. So if you're a newer player and you have the resources to build the hide, I would absolutely recommend you do so, because it's actually not bad. Plus, if you end up really liking it, you can eventually upgrade into the Kuva hind as well. And that is pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.